Hello and welcome to this two point perspective sketching uh, demonstration, real objects in this case the stool you see in front of you here on the, on the video. Uh, we're going to start off with a warm up sketch before we get to that one. So we're going to start off with the leading edge, the front vertical line and lines going towards the vanishing points which are off the page. Starting off with a cube I think in this case. So we're going to put the two vertical lines and the top on and in this case we may go for a curve on the top. So something going from left to right at the front. Uh, and then trying to get an idea where that same shape or line would be at the back of the similar square back edge on this cube. Let me try and join those two up to get an idea of a curve. Four legs on this, four vertical wooden legs, similar to you have on a lot of traditional stools or tables. I don't think we'll see the back corner, so we won't see the fourth one. But those two lines going towards vanishing points, uh, the chunkier ones, those are rails which you'll see on most structures, traditional structures, and they link the legs together to give strength. So all I'm doing there is building up um, the thickness of the top. And that's my warm up. I think I'll go into one proper now, slightly taller structure this time, so vertical lines, lines towards the vanishing points. I'm basically, I'm making up a cuboid. I've missed the top off. Four legs, so again, we'll just put vertical lines down to see the surfaces I can see straight forward. There's the top, or where the top might be. The edges of those legs, I'll see the sides of two of them, so I'll see two sides of all three legs, and then the rails, and this time they're set back slightly. The top, I'm just going to make a little bit wider, so I'm trying to extend that off the existing cuboid to get an idea of a top for that. Now again, these are all construction lines, nice and light, fairly free drawn from the shoulder, you can see I'm trying to reinforce the object I'm trying to draw. I think now I could maybe look at trying to firm in some of these lines. The lighter construction lines will pale away later on. So just getting a slightly heavier, not that heavy, line for the, the lines I'm going to see. I'm doing this on an iPad with sketching pencils. The techniques are very similar to what you would do in pencil. It's just a little bit quicker for me to put this demonstration together in this way. The advantage I've got, it's digital and I can send it to you much quicker. So there's the, the legs getting firmed in the edges of the rails. Remember the lines are either, in this case, either going vertically or to one of the two vanishing points. Now that's, I've said it hundreds of thousands of times over the time I've been teaching, basic rules apply. It's only when we get to slopes and curves that rule changes. So you can see I'm sort of firming in a fair number of the, the vertical lines, line going to vanishing point. The top, I just need to spend a little bit of time sorting those lines out. Remember, you'll make mistakes, so firming in you a chance to sharpen up or change the direction or square things up a little bit neater on the final outline. So, there we are. There's our starting point with the, the basic vanishing points. All I'm going to do digitally is add a little bit of colour to this. The colours are intentionally a bit on the wild side, just so you can see the individual parts. Uh, with this software, I have to uh, apply the colour and then rub off the stuff I don't need. Four legs, I can only see three. And the two rails, in this case, are going to be green. So that's a perspective. Proportion, real deal, maybe not the most comfortable, but it's a high stool of some sort. The idea is now is to, for you to look for something that you could do, maybe you've got it at home, that you could do very similar. The idea of a, an existing structure. All I'm doing this now is putting a little bit of shadow or shade in to make the 3D-ness, the, 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 the idea of a three-dimensional object look a little bit more realistic. Uh, so there's a little bit of an overhang on the top, so I've just darkened the, the colour of the, the legs anywhere there's a part overhanging or sitting above another. And I think the, the oh, go for that horrible green for those rails, and again, they'd have an overhang as well. So there you go. There's an idea. If we want to add a little bit more realism, we could add a shadow down below to show that it's sitting on a surface rather than floating about the page. This is much further on than I expect you to do at the moment. It's basically really the basic outline of the, the object we're looking for. But this is a taste of the sort of things we could go on to do next term. So the idea, it was a two-point perspective real object. And I'm just putting a background behind that to make the object stand out a little bit, maybe get some writing on the edge of that, so just using a different pen, and as long as I get my spelling correct, per spec tiv, um, I've run out of space, so I may have to redo that one, it looks quite good going behind, I'll maybe just, uh, <clears throat> you're allowed to make mistakes, remember that's part of learning, it's like riding a bike, you fall off, you make mistakes, you get back on, you try it again, um, in this case I'll maybe just finish it off quickly with perspective there, Name the drawing with the worst pun I can think of at the time. Your challenge then is to go and find something at home, small table, stool, and have a go at something very simple yourself, very similar yourself. Perspective, 
Sorry to say, the last wee bit before I go, I couldn't help myself. Um, I'm officially going to call this drawing Perspective. And it's the James Young High Stool. Sorry.